So we're here at camp. We have a couple of little camp things to do. It's gonna be a nice, quick, easy, well, not easy, but a nice, quick weekend. This is our old grill. After the hurricane, kind of got destroyed. It's all broken and whatnot. So we're gonna put it out on the boat, take it out to the pond, and make it a fish house. This is our second dog. It used to be out in the middle, but with all the strong winds from Hurricane Ian, kind of pushed it up on the bank. Mush! Mush! Pretty middle. Drop it. Drop it. I think we're good. Bombs away! Steve. Anchor's down. He was had one leg on the dock and you started to pull away. So we are putting this in because it is a private lake. And then this is going to be one more thing that they can hide in. The fish from the gators. You get some pretty big gators. On the way. Island's home again. That would be an awesome video. What do you guys think? You think we should spend the night on this dock? Comment sure. below. But we should get like a hundred dollars each to spend at Walmart to survive on here. It's, it's not. Comment down below. I'm all gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Okay. We're gonna do it. Just period. No comments. Yeah. You can still comment. You can still comment. Yeah. Just tell us if it's a tell us if it's a good idea or not. Because I don't think it's a good idea to stay on a dock. You almost lost the paddle just there. Oh my god, that is the best idea ever, okay? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. You ready for this? Ready for this, ready for this, ready for this. Alright, so you guys go out to dinner. You, you leave me with the AR and we go hunt for our food. Actually, yeah. Sounds like fun. Yeah, but it's surviving and then we sleep on the dock. Yeah, the whole idea was to sleep on the dock. And we can get like our own grill from Walmart and then cook whatever we eat on the dock. What do you think about that? I don't know about the cooking part of it. I think that's a smart idea. Yeah, if anybody knows Steven, they probably figured out by now that it was a really bad idea that we actually let him paddle away with the only way we have to get off the island. the dogs on the boat and they both keep jumping off. Oh, ready? Doink. Just don't go with the water. Okay. Ah! <laughs> Paolo got a new collar. He outgrew his other collar. It's so sad. So he got this pretty blue collar. Guess what? Gosh, they were so in sync right then. Look right, look left, move along. Bye! Ow. I might be genuinely trying to get over there, possibly. More structure for the bass. So by doing this, the little bluegill, these little guys that are hitting over here. Um, but these little bluegill like to be eaten by bass and the, the bluegill like to have structure to keep them safe from the bass. So by throwing in things like a dilapidated plastic wicker couch, it gives uh, basically like a safe haven for the littler fish to grow up and then the bass have a diet. They have stuff to eat, so. And then the bass can hide in there from the gators. Yep, and the bass like it too. So it's nice, nice little habitat, kind of like a coral reef. It may look like we're just throwing out our trash, but we're absolutely helping build the ecology of this pond, this lake here at camp. So it gives us fish to catch and- Fish to eat. Yep, fish to eat. There's some big old bluegill, we can eat them. The bass, we don't eat. You can, but- You can, but, and they're good, because we ate one in Mississippi, but- but they're That's a game fish. That we like to do. Yeah. It's more of a catch and release. One more reef. Fish will be happy. Also, it was a few years ago, we had a um, 
an osprey or two here and they just absolutely obliterated our fish population. So by adding the structure, it gives the fish a place to hide from the predatory birds. And so, some otters. We, might, we think we might have had some otters because when before Hurricane Ian, that dock used to have a bunch and a bunch of... Carcasses and yeah. skeletons and but stuff. Now it, we could, it could also be uh, a water turkey or a cormorant is what they're more commonly called. Goodbye. Yeah. It, they just left the bones. Cormorants don't do that. That's how cute Apollo is. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Turkey. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching. We hope you enjoyed watching the video as much as we enjoyed making it. Please like and subscribe, hit the notification button, and tell all your friends about the channel. It really means a lot to us that you keep watching. We hope you guys have a blessed day.